We're on to our next unit, and now we are going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions. So we don't want to remember, again, always keeping in mind what does a fraction actually represent. Okay, so remember our numerator is the amount of pieces that we're talking about, and the denominator tells us how many pieces there are total. All right, so always keeping that in mind, that we're talking about part of a whole, the numerators tell us how many pieces, or in that part, and then the denominator tells me how many pieces there are in a whole. So as we're remembering that, adding and subtracting fractions is actually pretty simple, and I think you're going to find that this is way easier than you think it's going to be. All right, let me show you an example. Now remember in term one we talked about what addition actually means. Addition means that we're counting things together. We're combining things together and counting them together. All right, that's what addition is. It's the same thing with fractions, all right? Fractions are just a different type of number. We're not talking about a whole number. Now we're talking about part of a whole, but we still add it the same way. So let me give you an example. Um, let's say I have two ninths. And I want to add that to 3 ninths. All right, I want to do 2 ninths plus 3 ninths. All right, well, let's look at this. I have 2 ninths here. I have 3 ninths here. I count them together. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ninths. So really, I just did 2 plus 3, right? And then the 9 stayed the same. The 9 stays the same because the amount of pieces for one whole doesn't change just because I'm adding. Let me add it here with my whole, okay? If I have the 2 ninths plus the 3 ninths, it would still take me 9 ninths to make a whole, all right? So I don't change my denominator, I just add together my numerators. So again, for this one that I just represented, we did 2 ninths plus 3 ninths equals 5 ninths. And that's really all there is to it, guys. You're really just adding the numerators together, and the denominator stays the same because, remember, it still would take 9 pieces to make a whole. Let's look at it with a different type of fraction. All right, let's look at it. Let's do, um, let's say, 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. I want you making a prediction right now about what you think the answer is going to be. 2 fourths plus 1 fourth. All right, so you should be predicting. Here's my 2 fourths plus 1 more fourth. How, now how many fourths do I have? I have 1, 2, 3 fourths, right? Was that, did that match your prediction? Did you get 3 fourths when you were adding that? You should have. Because remember, my denominator, what I'm adding doesn't change. It is, they are all fourths. All right, I'm just telling how many fourths I have total now. All right, let's look at one more example where I'm going to be using the fraction strips. And you can use your fraction strips to help you as well when you're adding. Okay, let's do um, 3 eighths plus 5 eighths. 3 eighths plus 5 eighths. Again, I want you making a prediction on what you think that's going to answer or equal, what the answer is going to equal. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we have 1, 2, 3 eighths plus, uh-oh, I lost an eighth somewhere. Oh, no. Well, what do you think it's going to be? 1, 2, 3, 4, and I have my other imaginary eighth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus one more would be 8 eighths. I must have lost one of my fraction strips. Oh, no, I need to find that. All right, so it should be 8 eighths, right? Because if I had all of my eighths fraction strips, which I guess I should have counted before I started making the video, I would know that I have 8 eighths. And what does 8 eighths equal? Okay, remember I have another one right here. What does that equal? It equals the same thing as one whole. It equals the same thing as one whole. But if I write it as 8 eighths, I'm not incorrect, okay? Now... Let's look at adding fractions a different way. Now, don't be like, oh my goodness, it's going to get harder. It's not. It's not going to get any harder. That's, that's adding fractions. This is how we add fractions, okay? But let's look at it on a number line. All right, if I have my number line and I have my zero here and I have my one hole here, and let's say I break my number line up into... Um, 
I'm going to break it up into eighths. All right. So remember, I count how many spaces I have. That tells me what fraction I'm going to be working with. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. So I can label this as one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. And then remember, one whole is the same thing as eight eighths. Okay? Now, if, just like when you learn how to add with a number line, it's the same thing. Let's say I have 2 eighths plus 3 eighths. 2 eighths plus 3 eighths. Well, I start on 2 eighths and I hop up 3 more eighths. So I have 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths. Where did I land? I landed on 5 eighths. All right. So again, I'm using my number line but it's the same thing. I'm just counting up how many I'm adding. Just like you would if you were adding whole numbers on a number line, you just count up how many you're adding. Okay, so that's another way that we could represent this. Let's say I wanted to represent it with a picture. All right, I'm gonna represent the same problem, 2 eighths plus 3 eighths. So I'm gonna draw a picture, uh-oh, my pen is dying. All right, I'm gonna split it into eighths. For this part, I'm going to shade in two eighths, so one, two, and for this part, I'm going to shade in three eighths, one, two, three, and how many do I have shaded in now? Because I have to shade in both since I'm adding them together. One, two, three, four, five eighths are shaded, so two eighths plus three eighths equals five eighths. So whether I'm doing it with the, um, the fraction strips, whether I'm doing it with a number line or whether I'm doing it with a picture, what I'm doing is adding together my numerators because as we saw when we were doing it with the fraction strips and as we can see here with the number line and as we can see here with the picture, the only thing that's changing is the numerator. I still have eight pieces. Here, I still have eight pieces. Here, I still had eight pieces, okay? So it doesn't matter. Um, how you're adding it, the denominator is always going to stay the same when you add it. You never, ever, ever, there's never a situation that rules ever changes where you're going to add the denominators. You only ever add the numerators together. Okay, so that is what you want to keep in mind. Now, there are some problems that you're going to see where it wants you to come up with ways to get, let's say, 6 eighths. How could I add fractions together to get 6 eighths? Well, let's think about what we just talked about, all right? First of all, whatever fractions I'm adding have to have a denominator of 8. Whatever fractions I'm adding have to have a denominator of 8. So maybe I want to draw a picture, and I split it up into my 8 pieces, okay? And I want to make sure that I get 6 eighths, right? So I've, I'm going to add something together. Well, let's see here. Okay, well, I shaded in 2 eighths. And then how many more would I need to shade in to get to 6 eighths? Well, let's see here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, well, I shaded in 1, 2, 3, 4 more. All right. So one way I could do that would be 2 eighths plus 4 eighths equals 6 eighths. What's another way that I could do it? Well, let's see here. I could start with 1 eighth, and then I could add 1 eighth, and then I could add 1 eighth, right? We could just add these unit fractions 6 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That would give me... 6 eighths, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I have 1 eighth 6 times, I have 6 eighths, okay? So that's another way that I can do that. And you may have heard, just heard me say this. These fractions right here are called unit fractions. Unit fractions are any fraction that has a 1 as the numerator. So 1 half, 1 over 2, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh, 1 eighth, 1 ninth, 1 557th. Doesn't matter what the denominator is. If the numerator is a 1, 
It's called a unit fraction, all right? That's a good vocabulary word to know because you will see that one. A unit fraction is any fraction with a numerator of one, all right? Oh, there we go. Any fraction with a numerator of one. All right, let's say I wanted to figure out how to add and get um, five tenths. I wanna figure out how to add and get five tenths. This time I am going to use my fraction strips. I need to make sure that I'm adding and I get five tenths. That's my answer, one, two, three, four, five. All right, well, what different ways can I arrange these? I could do one tenth plus four tenths. I could do two tenths plus three tenths. I could do three tenths plus two tenths. I could do four tenths plus one tenth. Or I could do it, I could add three things together, right? Maybe I do one tenth plus one tenth plus three tenths. Okay, so I'm just looking at the different ways that I can arrange my fraction strips to get equal five tenths. I could separate them all out and do one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth. Any of those are gonna get me five tenths. There's lots of different ways I can do it, okay? So again, your key is making sure that whatever you pick, the numerators add to equal the numerator and the denominator matches. The denominator is going to stay the same, all right? So as you're working through these lessons, that's the key. The numerators are what you're adding. The denominator stays the same. And you can use your fraction strips to help you. You can draw pictures. You can draw number lines. All right. And remembering this one vocabulary word right here that a unit fraction is any fraction that has a numerator of one. All right, guys. Good luck. Happy adding. And I will see you again soon. Bye.